and welcome everyone to the next module of our Cybers MOOC. My name is Sarah Strieck and I'm a postdoctoral researcher at Graz University of Technology in Austria. The topic of this module is data management free. By now you should already know what a cyber infrastructure is and you should already know about data management principles as well as certain functionalities that Cybers offers for data management. The objectives of this module are to understand how to attach metadata to your data files in the Cybers discovery environment and to understand how to share your files with collaborators through the Cybers discovery environment. So let's get started with metadata. Metadata are actually data about your data. So having metadata will help you to have an appropriate documentation for data sets that will describe exactly what is in the data set. Unfortunately, many researchers just focus on metadata when they have to publish their research results. However, it would be very important to have metadata already at the very beginning when you start with your project. In the Cybers discovery environment, Metadata are stored in the attribute value unit format. A attribute could be something like length, the value could be 7 and the unit could be centimeters. These metadata in Cybers can be attached to single files, but there is also a bulk function which can help you to attach metadata to multiple files at once. In order to add metadata in Cybers, you can select a file and then click on the three dots on the right hand side. There you can select the metadata menu. In the metadata menu, you can see that the metadata in Cybers are stored in the attribute value unit format. On the right hand side, you have a button to add metadata. In this menu, you can type in the metadata for your file in the attribute value unit format. In addition, you can also select or add child metadata to your files. Apart from attaching sing metadata to single files in the discovery environment, it is also possible to attach metadata to multiple files at once with the bulk metadata function. In our instructions, we will show you in detail how this works. Now we will move on to data sharing. So data sharing in Cybers helps you to work together with your collaborators with, um, with your files. In order to share data in the Cybers discovery environment, you can select a file and again use the three dots on the right hand side to select the share menu. In the share menu, you can search for a user with whom you would like to share this file. In my case, I selected Nirov. Here you can also define the permissions you'd like to give this person. So I could give Nirov the rights to read my file, to write in my file, and I can also give him the permission um, to have the ownership of this given file. So now you know how to attach metadata to your data files in the Cybers Discovery environment and how to share your files with collaborators. In the exercise, we would like you to repeat this on your own. So we'd like you to select a file and to add metadata to this file. In the instructions, we, already, we also included the description how to attach multiple, uh, metadata for multiple files at once with the bulk metadata function. And in the end, we also want you to share a file with a collaborator on the Cybers Discovery environment. In the instructions, you will find information how to do so in a step-by-step -step guide. So now you already completed all the modules about data management and in the next module we will work with you on analysis within the Cybers Discovery environment. So thank you very much for your attention and see you in the next module.